uh, the levels. And I do understand a frustration um, from residents that have made it known um, and that they're displeased with the, um, uh, the lack of collections and timely collections and particularly the residents who did not have their uh, garbage cans collected pre-Ida and that went uncollected for weeks. So we not only acknowledge that, but I also acknowledge the impact that that has had on our people directly and their overall quality of life daily. But with saying that, I want our people to understand as well, I'm just as frustrated. But frustration is only one part of it. It's about doing what it takes to provide solutions to solve the problem. And that's what my team and I uh, have been working on tirelessly day in and day out relative to the issues that we are having with the contractors that are responsible for solid waste collections throughout the city of New Orleans. As I mentioned, we know that it was compacted due to Hurricane Ida, no doubt about that. Um, the contractors are now um, are having to work in terms of the work workload three to five times greater than what we saw pre-hurricane. And with the workforce of about 25%, there's absolutely no magic wand that's going to solve this overnight. And if it were one, I would have waived it already. But the one that I have been waving is that with my team to collectively provide a solution and find a solution to get the trash picked up, the solid waste picked up sooner rather than later. This is not to be confused with debris from Hurricane Ida. Those debris contracts are separate and they are executed and they are advancing, meaning the work every single day. The biggest issue, again, is around solid waste. But I also understand, you know, in people's eyes and even, you know, they see it, hey, trash is trash. But it's very um, uh, essential um, at this point that we do recognize the difference. And so solid waste is what we're really focusing on uh, today and every day. <clears throat> Last week, you heard me uh, mention uh, that the city of New Orleans, and based on the issues or challenges that I just described going on with the current contractors, on last week, you heard me announce that the city moved forward with emergency procurement in hopes to increase the capacity on the ground to get, again, solid waste picked up sooner rather than later, getting the trash out of our people's eyes and out of their neighborhoods. Now, based on that procurement, emergency procurement, which ended on Monday uh, at 8.30 p.m., uh, we had uh, one responsive bidder for Zone 1, which has been contracted out, and that contractor is Ramelli. Ramelli stepped up to the plate and added four trucks that were on the ground this morning, and that was tied to that emergency procurement. However, there was a Zone 2 that went out with that same uh, emergency procurement. And while we did have a response, what we have not been able to solidify is the respondent's true capacity to come to New Orleans to immediately address the solid waste collections that are on the ground. And what I mean by that is, we know that this contractor has indicated that they have 20 trucks that they have, that they can put on the ground. The issue there is not having the manpower, meaning no one to work to drive those trucks to therefore pick up trash. 
That goes back to the capacity issue that you've also heard me talk about. That's not just here in the city of New Orleans. It is a national, um, it's a national problem. But our problem is picking up trash as it relates to solid waste. And so what this has required us to do, and as a team, to really again be solutions focused and oriented so that we can pivot on the dime in ways that we can pick up the trash. You'll hear more about that. But I met with my department heads actually prior to uh, this meeting. And so what we will be doing is mobilizing an array of city departments, much like we do to clean up during Mardi Gras. And so Mardi Gras cleanup is not new to us. And because of that, it has provided us at least some foundation to stand on, to collectively as a team and as a city, respond to what we know the needs are in our communities, in our neighborhoods that are bringing forth the frustrations in our people. So we will be executing uh, our own, and this is again to build the capacity so we can get this trash picked up and picked up sooner rather than later and executing it immediately to again provide the capacity to do more. So we're going to ensure, and as we do during Mardi Gras with the multiple departments, it's also collecting and gathering our multiple uh, assets, you know, our equipment from various departments, whether that, I mean, it, it goes from, from mosquito and um, termite control board to DPW to sewage and water board. I mean, of course, sanitation, park and parkways, you name it. I'm only mentioning a few, but it's a comprehensive program that we have to put together. And we do for Mardi Gras, we're gonna do the same thing to deal with this trash situation in the city to pick up immediately. Now, I have asked uh, the New Orleans Police Department, our chief, uh, to make available to us, and you'll hear more about the crews activated tomorrow, which there'll be about 10. Matt will touch on this. But I have asked um, Superintendent Ferguson to provide uh, 10 of our police officers and vehicles, meaning units, that will follow our 10 crews that will be assigned to various areas throughout the city to begin our own trash collection on tomorrow. Again, this is how we're going to solve this problem immediately, but also be assured that I'm looking at solving this problem for the long haul. But right now, it's about getting the trash picked up in this city and out of neighborhoods and out of people's eyes. I also want to acknowledge, now Ivy Waste, you know, that's uh, Sydney Torres, Ivy Waste. Now, the Metro contractor had uh, contracted with Ivy Waste even prior uh, to Hurricane Ida. I understand that that operation is still in play. Now, Ivy Waste has provided an additional seven additional trucks to the Metro contractor that, of course, is helping build the capacity of the contractor to pick up solid waste throughout the city and in their target zones. But it's still not enough. And it's not enough, which causes us as a city to be very creative and innovative, but also build on some foundational um, experiences that we do every single year relative to Mardi Gras. Um, I also mentioned the support of our New Orleans Police Department and being behind these crews because over the past week there have been some incidents uh, where our own folks, our own residents have um, um, violated both physically as well as verbally um, the men and women on the street picking up the trash. That doesn't help anybody. And so I want to make it very clear, we cannot and will not stand for that as a city. And that is not who we are. But let me tell you who we are. And I got a little blowback 
blowback from this on yesterday relative to my authorization of opening up our uh, Elysian Fields transfer station. Now, this was something actually I discussed with my team even prior to Ida to kind of work to address the illegal dumping, you know, that we've seen, you know, across our city, period, with no type of weather event. But of course, given this crisis that we're in, I move forward with activating that site and at the request of many residents who have reached out, whether it's by call, email, text, saying, hey, can we have an option? And absolutely trying to determine and identify those tools that we can activate in real time to address the problem and provide our people with the option. But that speaks to who we are, asking for what we need, to if we have to do it ourselves. And you don't have to, but if you want to, the option is there. And a response to that has been overwhelming, which again speaks to who we are. Neighbors helping neighbors, even my guy, little Carlos, you know, my little neighborhood, I'm even activate my little pickup, someone who wants to help the community because people want to help the community and their, and their neighbors. And guess what? People are. Yesterday, we saw over 200 when we activated it in terms of you know, vehicles coming, residents bringing trash. Um, they just took it upon themselves to even, again, as I mentioned, like Carlos, being a community leader out there helping people. So I want to, I really want to thank those residents who continue to be that example of what it truly means, you know, to be a New Orleanian. And this is not a mandatory at all. It's just, again, another option. Today we saw over 600 vehicles, which again speaks to people asked for an option, we were, they were provided an option, and they're taking advantage of that. And we appreciate that. But right now we're going to remain focused on the immediate, which is collecting and picking up the trash that is in various parts of our city and again our residents who have experienced the lack of trash collection for weeks and weeks prior to Hurricane Ida and only exacerbated because of it. 